psychotic squirrels, deranged pigeons, and oh my gosh, a bear just ate the Empire State Building. Reese, there are no giant bears in New York City. My bad. Thought I saw one last week. This is the Tapper Twins Guide to Actually Real New York City Wildlife. Hi, I'm Claudia Tapper, the mature and responsible half of the Tapper Twins, and the author of these books. <clears throat> and that's my twin brother, Reese. Now, even though we don't have a skyscraper eating bears... It would be totally cool if we did, though. There's a ton of wildlife here, like cockroaches. Their natural habitat is everywhere, but they especially like the basement of our apartment building and the garbage chute in our hallway. They're pretty smooth about it, though. So here's a pro tip. If you want to see them, turn on the kitchen light at 3 in the morning. Then there's squirrels, like this one in Union Square. He was very friendly, until he realized I wasn't going to feed him. Then he got mad and yelled at me in squirrel language. You know what there's a ton of? Pigeons. This is true, and they're also very friendly. But TBH, they're basically rats with wings, so they're actually too friendly. Look at this situation. I hope you wash that sweatshirt afterwards. Speaking of gross, I do not want to discuss the rats. <laughs> I do. Reese really wants to show you his dead rat picture. Check it out. We found it by the subway in Queens. I was like, Dad, take a picture. While Dad was taking this picture, I was running away screaming. <laughs> Moving on. The most glamorous wildlife in New York City are the celebrities. Their natural habitat is trendy downtown neighborhoods, where they're hunted for sport by creepy guys with cameras known as paparazzi. <laughs> Those guys do look kind of creepy. That's why most of the time, celebrities hide from the predators inside giant SUVs with tinted windows. But sometimes, you can catch a glimpse of one in the wild, like when they're shopping in Soho. I saw Taylor Swift buying a hot dog at Shake Shack. No, you didn't. I know. Finally, the absolute strangest wildlife in New York are the Times Square cartoon characters. And here's another tip. They're very friendly as long as you give them at least $2 for a photo. But be careful, because sometimes they turn violent. Oh, snap. What was that about? I have no idea, but I figured as long as it was happening, I should take pictures. Is there any strange wildlife native to your hometown? Share it with us in the comments section below. And P.S. If you want to know more about our adventures in New York, read the official history of the first ever culvert prep scavenger hunt for charity, which was a huge success and did not cause a riot in the streets of New York. <laughs> That's not what the newspaper article said. That article was not true mostly, and all the bad stuff was your team's fault. That's cray. We weren't anywhere near that fight in Times Square. Who got locked in the back of a truck headed for New Jersey. Okay, that was me. But the riot was your fault. No comment.